Hey everybody, Thorgo here, playing some Tekken, playing some Minecraft. So today, we need to get some more power. So if we walk around to the back here, to where we had our power... Oh, I took down the uh, the, the uh, frame from that other quarry. This one's not running right now, because I'm working on the power, right? So uh, you'll notice this big gaping hole. We, we, we need to fill this. What I did was I took out all of our solar panels, okay? So these were the... there was two here, two here, one here, and one against this for a total of six. So I used my handy dandy wrench, popped those guys off, now I've got them in my hand. What are we going to do with them? Well, we're going to make more of them. So in order to make solar panels, we need glass, we need coal dust, which you uh, macerate coal, and you get some coal dust, uh, we need electronic circuits, which is a bunch of copper cable, some refined iron, and some redstone. Um, and we need a generator, which is a battery, uh, a machine block, and a furnace. I'll, I'm going to use this pattern because that's what I made. So if you look, I got eight batteries, eight machine blocks, eight furni, and I've got everything else ready to make the, the solar panels except for this created. So what we're going to do is we'll run over here. We'll make our, our, our blocks here. So we'll put this this and this. We get eight of these guys. Look at this. And I did this right easy so you guys could just see it happen. I I, uh, I figured you didn't you didn't want to watch me make all these parts. It, it, it took a little while. So now look. Boom. Now we have 14 solar panels, right? So one of the things we should do is make a low voltage solar array, which is eight solar panels and a low voltage transformer. So that's I, I planned for this, which is why I just made eight of these guys and a low voltage transformer. So in order to make the low voltage transformer, it's just four wood, some copper in the center, copper cable on top and bottom. Easy peasy. Boom. Solar array. And now we still have six solar panels to do to do some backup. So now now we're 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 basically up instead of six, we now have our six that we had plus eight more. So hopefully this will give us enough power to keep our, our uh, stuff charged up, keep our quarry running more uh, so, so we're not instantly out of power just trying to run a quarry um, and, and I think this can help a lot so ooh, a little bit of lag um, I am running this server on the same machine as I'm playing and the same machine that I'm recording so uh, I am getting a little bit of lag spike but not too bad alright so boom uh, a trick if, if you notice when I when I right click it opens this if you hold shift you can both pop it right against it how do you like them apples Alright, so we'll put this here, this here, and and this there. And we'll come across the side and we'll put this there and this there. Look at us. And now we got one more um, that I, I don't know what to do with it. We'll put it right there. Now that's not getting any sun because we dumb and it's right underneath the overhang. So the sun the sun's not seeing that. There's there's a building over the top of it. We need our wrench. We need our wrench bad. So we'll go get our wrench. And we'll say, whoops, sorry about that. Let's get our wrench. Not to be confused with our wrench. <laughs> it's the, uh, the the bronze wrench is the one that, that works really well on these solar panels. So uh, Now there is still a chance, even though you're using a wrench, that this will turn into uh, a machine block instead. Uh, that is not what we wanted to, to happen. Annoying. All right. Yeah. And yeah. And yeah. Now, what can we do? What can we do? Let's uh. Let's do this. Let's do this. If we get one more of those cables, we'll bring it out by one, and we'll put a piece of dirt on the top. What do you think? I think this will be beautiful. Just like that. Now, do we have any more of those fancy fiber cables? That is the question. Now, I do not... Yes! Perfect! One there, and I'll bring a couple dirt just in case. Uh, I'm going to keep my wrench in case something goes awry and I place something wrong or something weird. So we'll go boom, just like that and we'll take our two solar panels and we'll go ploppity ploop 
and we'll take our dirt and we'll just we'll just make it pretty. Look at this. Just like this. Flippity plop, ploop plop plow. Just like that. Alright, so now everything should be should be fully sunned up. We got sun, nothing. See, the reason it was there is if you look, that that was the block above it. So you need to be one over. And oh look at the sun. Yay. So now our solar panel should be good. Should be just fine. Let's run back and we'll we'll check our our MFE, which we may have to change for an MFSU to hold more power. So look at this. We are beautifully charged. So now we'll pop the quarry on and we'll see some power start jumping through this thing. Is that right? Uh not not receiving power, so, so, so. It looks like it should be working. Not seeing any power come through. Let's uh, let's just go see if it started working or not. I did copy this from from a local uh, a local play single player map. Uh, now now I'm doing it on a multiplayer server. So oh look yeah see it's working. It's just the power's a little bit finicky. There you go. See. Boop. Bloop, bloop. Boom, look at this. I think that's just server lag, that display. So look at this. We're getting our stuff in now. Our quarry's rolling along. I don't think we're we're losing too much power. Ooh, I, I am I am lagging though. So I I'm kinda worried that the world anchor is what's making me lag so much. So because it's like it's like lag in like pulses. So I'm wondering if that thing's keeping that chunk loaded, but I, I'm, I'm already in it. So what I'm going to do, I'm going to take this thing out, and, and let's see if this helps us any. Get out of here, world anchor. I'll put you back. Just like that. And uh, we'll, we'll see if that does any better. Uh, for for what we're doing right now, I mean, our quarry's, our quarry's right on hand. So I'm not too concerned about that, and uh, and and I feel like that's just hurting us. So we're gonna we're gonna leave that like that. It's fine. It's fine. All right. Let's see. We'll put our wrench away. Oh, I forgot to look at how our power's doing. Let's make sure we got enough power. Check it out. Check it out. How's our power looking? Is it keeping steady? No, it's dropping pretty steadily, but but way slower than it was before, right? So before it was dropping horrendously. Now it's just dropping a little bit. And it is getting a little dark, so maybe... Where you at, son? Where you at? Oh, no, it's it's dead noon. <laughs> I'm so wrong. Oh, boo. Oh, well. Um, so at, at some point we'll have to make a ton more solar panels and we'll get a, we'll, we'll make another low voltage. But that just took a lot of time, and we're low on resources now because we made a ton of copper cable. So we're running low on tin, we're running low on silver, we're running low on everything. So we're just gonna we're gonna keep this going. Look at this! I love it. It's so awesome. I love that I made it go across the entire factory here too. That's beautiful. It's a beautiful sight. Look, we got a diamond. Okay, so. I think. Oh, I found out how to use my laser too. If you hold hold the M in this case, I can change it from long range, horizontal, superheat, scatter, explosive, mining, back to low focus, and that's just uh, how far how far it'll shoot. So that's fun. That's how I uh, I ended up taking out our our quarry frame with this guy without blowing up half the half the world. So we ended up with 62 frame. I lost some down in the depths, but I wasn't about to go swim after frame. I don't care about it anyway. So, Alright, so now I think we need to leave this quarry running for a little bit. We'll get some resources. We'll hopefully get some diamonds. So one of the things I want to do is build some cool things. One of them is an energy collector. So check this out. You need nine diamonds, because it's a block of diamond, and you need a ton of glowstone blocks. Each glowstone block is four. So we need uh, 4, 12, 16, 24, 26-ish, 4, 8, 12, 16, 24, no, 24, uh, 24 
glowstone, which we have uh, in our chest over here, but I don't, I don't want to use everything that we have. I'll, I think it'll be fun to go into the nether and get some more. I'll, I want to get like four or five of these, but it takes a lot of diamonds. And also, glowstone dust is worth a lot of EMC. If you look, it's 384 EMC. That's quite a bit. Uh, so, like, uh, obsidian is only 64. Glowstone dust is, is 384. Uh, and one diamond is 8,200, pretty much. So we need nine diamonds each, and I want to make uh, at least four of these guys. But, um, let's see, energy. We hook those up, and then there's a relay thingy. This guy, antimatter relay. So you hook this up, which is another nine blocks, and then some obsidian. So it needs... Um, one, two, three, four, six, seven, seven. Seven obsidian, a uh, block of diamond, and a glass. So what this does is you put this right against those energy uh, collectors. If you put put it right by these guys, and then you put all that right next to a collector, uh, energy condenser, sorry. If you put all those right next to one of these guys, it's going to start it's going to start making uh, EMC out of nothing just out of, out of the air check that out so um, and you can and these, these energy collectors uh, you can upgrade them uh, collect th all the way up to mark three so uh, these are just ha so this is eight eighty two thousand nine hundred EMC this one's two hundred this is seven hundred so uh, as you can see this one generates a lot more EMC but but it, it costs a, an awful lot because it costs a red matter. Um, so in order to do this, we're, we we in order to to get to this guy, we ne we need a dark matter. And in order to get a dark matter, we need a gem of eternal density. So this is this is what we need right here. Oh. Here, which which takes a dark matter. In order to get a dark matter, we need some diamonds and and some eternal fuel. So. Once we have one of these guys, we can put this in in this in uh, in in a chest like this, and and we'll get this out of here. And instead of making a single item, it's going to condense everything all the way up until it gets to red matter. So that's how we can easily get some dark matter from that as we keep pumping some stuff in there. So that's our goal. That was a lot of talking, but hopefully hopefully you guys understand. You know, where we're going, what we're doing. We're moving up in the world. Uh, I don't know if you guys saw this or not. This is a compressor up in the top. I did not route it down to here. Um, it, the pipe did not want to work, so too bad for it. You know, uh, taking the world anchor, I'm, I've not been lagging. I wonder if that world anchor is uh, it's holding me back, man. So it's, it's holding me down. Holding me down. I don't know. Maybe. Maybe. You know, what? Back to game. You crazy. You crazy. You crazy. Alright, well, I think that is going to end it for now. We've we've put more energy out. We crafted some cool stuff. We talked about what we're going to do. And I think uh, I think this has been a really successful successful day. So, on that note, bye!